Commander, did those pesky protesters settle down after we hosed them down with tear gas? Uh, no sir, they actually got a little bit more mad. Eh, we'll let them get mad, who cares? Well, uh, Cardinal, sir, they, uh, yeah, they're at the doors. Aw, oh, with their little picket line, with their little protest signs. No, sir, with guns. Crud. Uh, alright, I'm gonna be in the back office. I'm gonna l leave command up to you here, here, buddy. Uh, good luck, good luck, um, we're all counting on you. Yo, what's going on gamers? It's ya boy, Daily Tactics here, and today we are back with a little bit more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, and we're back in the sequels era, baby. The First Order here has a military base filled to the brim with riot troopers, because that's right, a riot is underway. A bunch of civilians have decided to go into uprising mode against the First Order here. Look at that guy is creepy. Not a fan of that. Uh, but yeah, even creepy people enjoying uh, themselves a nice little riot here. Going to be attacking these First Order Shock Troopers who are trying to defend the military base here. And uh, Cardinal is going to be the leader of the First Order Defenders, trying to hold back all of these rioters coming at them. We rarely do First Order defenses. Most of the time we have the First Order assaulting, so I think this is going to be a nice little, little spicy change of Rooney here. Here. Uh, and this is going to be an intense defense too because there are a lot of nice little choke points You know how we love our choke points uh, and spicy angles in which the first order can destroy some of these riders Either way guys without further ado, we'll get this thing going Please be sure to hit that like button if you do enjoy the video Let's try and get 1200 likes in the first 24 hours. It would help me out considerably Thank you so much if we can make that happen comment down below what sequel era battles you'd like to see next I saw someone recommend zombies versus first order and I I think that could be really fun, so maybe we'll do that next week. And remember to subscribe if you have not already. Either way, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing going. What's up, gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Okie dokie then gamers, let's go ahead and smash that start button here and the riders begin to advance on the first order line and the first order wastes no time in firing at these blokes. I mean, maybe a police force would be like, hey guys, stop right there. Don't come forward, but the first order is like, blast them. Just give them the old one two blast a punch. They are not messing about, and now they are in the city streets here, fighting against the enemy. Yeah, their shields actually don't block damage, but they do give the first order troopers a slight health and defensive buff. So these guys are technically stronger than your average trooper because they have the shields, but the shields don't necessarily actually deflect any damage from hitting the First Order units. And that's pretty evident as a lot of the First Order units are dropping to the ground, but they're surviving a pretty long time because of those shield buffs right there. Gotta love a good riot shield, boys. Gotta love it. Either way, lots of the rioters coming on forward here. Some of them are gunless, but as you can see, this Twi'lek picking up a gun uh, that he has found on the ground. Uh, many others just have pistols, while only a few have actual assault rifles to their names and things like that. So uh, these guys are pretty undergunned, understaffed, whatnot. Uh, so they're gonna need to make up for that deficit. It looks like this Twi'lek actually picked up a Geonosian gun. That's kind of crazy. Look at that thing go! Geonosian guns are so bizarre, but you kind of got to love them. They're kind of dope, dude. Kind of dope. Either way, more firing coming on down the line. Most of these riot troopers dropping to the ground for the First Order. They're not doing a great job of holding off the enemy. But, I mean, what kind of a job can you do uh, when the enemy is literally swarming you? There's hundreds of them, and they're hitting them, hitting you with everything you got. I mean, that's the thing with these rioters. They got passion in their bones, baby. They're trying to make a better life for themselves here against the First Order tyranny. 
Meanwhile, the First Order is like, you know, oh god, these rioters are coming at us again. I don't get paid enough for this. I'm a child slave. Things are, are not exactly good in a morale basis for the First Order defenders, while the rioters are like, living their best life right now. I mean, before this, they were probably picking up, you know, uh, Tauntaun dung in the stables. They were not having a good time before this, so now that they're fighting in a literal uprising, they're probably having a grand old time. This is like what they're literally living for. This is their lives. Meanwhile, the First Order, they don't care that much. <laughs> it's just not that important to them. You know, hearts and minds really do matter. If there's anything to learn from the Vietnam War, hearts and minds, baby, hearts and minds. All right, I think that's enough slow-mo for now as we have sort of eliminated the outside defenses for the First Order here. Both of these particle turrets are down and the vast majority of the shield units on the exterior are down as well. Shield units on the interior right now are defending from the ground as well, uh, using those riot shields to cover their entire bodies as they lie on the ground. That's actually not a bad strat. Oh, but then you get hit by a rocket launcher. Where did these guys get rocket launchers from? What the heck? They must have raided a First Order arsenal or something along those lines. Or maybe there's some Resistance soldiers in these ranks. You know, if I was the Resistance, I would be supporting every rebellion that, that happens, you know? A any sort of uprising against the First Order that occurs in the galaxy, I would immediately be like, Alright, here's ten shipments of guns. Have at it, boys. Make it happen, Cap'n. You gotta support anyone who's on your side. The, the enemy of I, my enemy is my friend in this case. That's, that's the mindset that the resistance needs to have. You know what I'm saying? All right, the last of the First Order troopers on that blockade are going down. Some of the defenders further back also dying out. Even one of Cardinal's guards is dead at this point. Ooh, he's gotta be pissed about that, dude. That's not a great thing at all. Yeah, the First Order is getting really clobbered here at the entrance, but I think the Resistance Troopers are going to be coming into one of many choke points here in just a few moments. I mean, they are going to get slowed down in a traffic jam right around here, I think, as well as once they hit like this point, and then when they hit this point, and when they hit this point, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for the First Order to make some big gains on the battlefield, and already we're starting to see that now as lots of resistance troopers dropping at the front entrance here. Look at these guys, dead as doornails, dunzo, kaputs, they're out of there, and more dying on this little fax machine. I'm telling you, man. Even in the Star Wars galaxy, people have to deal with fax machines. I used to have this job at the history department of the college I went to, uh, and uh, I, I basically would fax, fax things, and uh, I would uh, photocopy things, and, like, I swear to God, I, wa I wanted to kill that fax machine. I wanted to, have, if you've ever seen the movie Office Space, where they take a sledgehammer to the, um, to the fax machine, I wanted to do that. So bad. Great movie, by the way, if, if you guys are ever looking for a funny comedy. Uh, you know, very sort of mundane comedy. It's a, it's a great one. Fantastic comedy. But, uh, yeah, I, like, I understand the bitter hatred for fax machines. So the fact that even the First Order has to deal with fax machines, it's brutal, man. Maybe that's what the First Order is fighting for in this battle. You know, they might not be fighting for their for their rights or, you know, to end slavery or anything like that in the galaxy, but what they are fighting for is the opportunity to get a new fax machine or eliminate the fax machine entirely. Steve in accounting doesn't need to send this many memos. I don't need to receive a fax, Steve. I'm a First Order soldier. <laughs> that actually be a pretty funny, like, SNL skit. First Order talking about, like, <laughs> faxing and stuff. But I feel like that already kind of happened with their under, under, what is it called? Undercover boss with Kylo Ren. That's a funny skit, dude. You know, say what you want about SNL, and I have said plenty about SNL. I think SNL has gone significantly downhill in recent years. However, that was a funny skit that they made. The, the, the whole Kylo Ren, uh, you know, undercover boss thing. Top quality SNL content. Alright guys, so, the Resistance is sort of dilly-dallying right now. They're not uh, making those big gains that they were previously. I think maybe because they're stuck in these borders? Yeah, that actually got the moving a little bit, just deleting that little bit of cover right there. Huh. Alright, well, I won't fuss with the sides just yet. I'm gonna I'm let these guys sort of sort themselves out. If they want to come forward, they can. We're gonna let them do their own thing for a little while here. But maybe at the 10 minute mark, I'll start squatting them up so they actually, you know, participate in the battle a little bit more. 
Actually, some of these First Order troopers are trying to shoot through the wall. They're trying to wall bang these guys. But guys, I don't think this game has that kind of physics in it. I, I don't think you're going to accomplish very much doing that. Oh, but here we go. Big resistance charge on in. Bunch of troopers getting behind the fax machine. They get a couple shots off, but they, they don't really amount to all that much. Umbaran even coming out. Look at this. But they're all getting wiped. We have a wide variety of Star Wars species in this battle, man. I think it's kind of fun to get those eclectic groups of different Star Wars species going. I think it's kind of cool. Ooh! This human manages to clobber one of those First Order troopers defending a, uh, a rogue crate right there. Pretty nice stuff. You gotta love it. You love to see it, boys. You love to see it. All right, well... These First Order Troopers probably got some serious killage going right now. Let's start checking some of the uh, the data on these guys. So this guy's got 14 kills. TD-014, absolutely killing the game. This guy has 8 kills. T oh, now he's got 9. TZA-131, now he's got 10. What a champ. This guy's got 8. TKC-612. And this guy has 4. TR-322. TR-322, clearly not doing as much as the rest. This one guy right here has 1 kill. Uh, that guy's got none. Let's see. Oh, Cardinal died? What? All right, at some point during this uh, this battle, Cardinal bit the dust, baby. Cardinal went down in a big way. Not great, not great. All right, that's actually kind of shocking. Well, this guy might have a few kills. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that guy's got three kills. Not bad. It's really just a few First Order troopers right now who are, like, holding out at all costs right now. It's just a few of them. <laughs> the rest, not really doing that much. All right. Well, we still got a minute before the 10 minute mark ends up hitting, so we'll allow these resistance troopers, you know, one last opportunity to get their get their stuff together here. They are creeping on forward, um, and then we'll go ahead and squad them up and see if that does anything. Actually, a whole ton of them just chilling on the outskirts right there. Very strange. A little bit of a push right here. Not really much happening. I mean, honestly, it seems like most of these troopers just kind of get behind the fax machine and then sit there. Like, they don't actually fire anything. There's now tons of bodies right there. Ooh, and Baron tossing a nice little granata. Finally, someone doing some problem solving, and there you go. That trooper ends up biting the dust and dying. The same Umbaran actually getting out here and getting some shots off with his la uh, blaster rifle. Doesn't do that much, but hey, that guy was a champ. He was a go-getter. If he had lived, he might have gotten general or something. All right, one last check on these guys. Uh, this guy's got eight kills. This guy's got nine kills. This guy's got 12, and he has 17 now. Impressive stuff. And this guy has seven. All right. Well, we're hitting the 10 minute mark. Let's go ahead and squad up some of the resistance troopers here. And this uh, will make it so they push forward a little bit more in sync. Could help them in this instance a little bit. Uh, there's actually a ton of them just sort of chilling in the back. Come on forward here, guys. Come on forward. What are, what are you doing? And, and get out of that wall. This is just the AI glitching. I don't feel bad about moving the AI. I'll just move them to, like, the front entrance area around here. If they're just glitching, it's not fun to see these guys hug a wall for 10 minutes, you know? I'd rather have them actually join the battle. So we'll do that. Uh, all right, if there's any First Order troopers that need retreating, we can go ahead and do that right now. I'd say this guy's actually in a good spot because he can hit them there. These guys are still fine. I would say this guy is honestly pretty good, too, because he's getting crossfire. So... You know, I help the resistance, but I don't really think I need to help the First Order. I think they're doing just fine as it is. Okay, the resistance really flooding in now. That uh, squad up was really what they needed to get get moving, get grooving. Uh, but even still, they are taking incredible losses just trying to get on in here. This is actually pretty rough to see right now for the resistance. They are sloppy. They're moving uh, not very well, and they are barely managing to take that objective. But they do so. They do so. So that is the power of the squad up sometimes. Sometimes it does result in slaughters, but other times it does result in actually some pretty good movement from the enemy and uh, some pretty good plays. Uh, and this time around, it happened to be plays that managed to make the cut happen. That was that was pretty decent. That doesn't mean that the resistance is going to win this battle at this juncture, though. Ooh, First Order over here getting grenaded from beyond the wall. That's scary. Uh, because the First Order still has a lot of troopers left alive in some pretty solid choke point positions. And we can see that in action right now as these resistance troopers try their best to get some kills here. But they get gunned down before they really can. Some decent stuff happening. This guy... You know, I like the grenading spirit. You guys know I do love a good granata. But uh, now might not be the time to be grenading, buddy. Yeah, I, I'd chill on those granatas. I think uh, I think that's a mistake to be grenading so much right now. These guys over here, they're going to be in a nice little choke point for the rest of the battle. Also, these guys over here, 
they're gonna get some good back shots. I think we are in a decent position. Ooh, grenade going out. Oh, that really didn't have much impact. Did it land under the Umbaran's body and then that, like, helped uh, mitigate losses from that grenade? That might have been what happened right there, actually. All right, let's see. Uh, a couple more First Order troopers slaughtering a couple more Resistance troopers right there. The Resistance, once again, sort of losing power on the battlefield, sort of uh, dwindling in terms of their push. Oh, but there you go. There's a cheeky little First Order kill right there. That'll that'll set you up to take over this choke point a little bit later. Not too shabby there, baby. All right, another Geonosian coming on out here. First Order troopers trying to react. Oh, whoa. The grenading campaign on these guys worked so well. I was not expecting that. I thought those guys were going to hold out just fine, but they did not in the slightest. In fact, they got slaughtered, and now that opens up these guys to be the main target of the enemy, and they're getting slaughtered too now. There's still an entire cubby over here of First Order Troopers that can hold out, but that's big losses right there. Wow, okay, the resistance with those grenades managing to make some serious stuff happen. All right, this is the last cubby of First Order Resistance here. We've got five troopers. All of the sudden, the First Order goes from having a very good standing on the battlefield to not having a standing at all. But, but, you know what? If they can manage to make something happen here, it could work. All right, we'll send one trooper forward over this way because I don't think the Resistance actually knows these guys exist. So we'll just send him forward. That's a suicide. And yeah, there we go. Now the resistance is more interested in actually taking on these little buskuses over here. Let's hope they can't grenade them, but they are going to swarm them. Oh my god, stop missing shots. Stormtrooper aim. No, stop grenading. Guys, just pure... Oh god. That was a disaster. I don't even know what just happened. <laughs> what is happening? That was criminally bad. <laughs> How did that work? How did that work? Oh my god. All right, I'll be honest here. Me squatting up the resistance, I think, really did aid in uh, their victory here. Oh, there's one First Order trooper right here. TK-109. Let's see if we can get some kills with him. I think grenading would be our best option. Okay, he steps out and immediately gets slaughtered. Uh, yeah, I think squatting up right here did help with the resistance winning. Uh, but to be honest, I'm trying to entertain. And I know a lot of people will get really mad at me in the comments for squatting those guys up. Uh, but I'm trying to enter entertain. And watching one guy trickle into one choke point over and over and over again for 10 minutes, it's not entertainment. It's not fun to watch. Uh, you know, I know some people like that hyper-realism and are willing to watch that for 30 minutes. But, like, let's be honest, guys. It's not that entertaining for the vast majority of people. And it's also not realistic at all. If you think about it, if the Resistance was actually doing that in every battle, they would never win a war. Not in, the, not in the slightest. They would squat up. That's the realistic thing that they would do. So, you know, that's just sort of my standpoint on that. So I apologize if that upset you, but, you know... I'm not that sorry because I, I stand by what I did right there. Uh, either way, the resistance manages to take the dubski here, but not without losing tons of troopers. The rioters get slaughtered overall here. I mean, they lost an abundance of soldiers. Red are dead rioters. Yellow are dead uh, first order troopers. Tons and tons of dead rioters. And of course, lots of dead uh, first order troopers as well. But I think the rioters definitely lost out on this battle. <laughs> Either way, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Views have not been all that great lately, but, uh, you know, just having even a, a small core audience watching the videos has, has seriously upped my spirit, and I love to see the nice comments you guys are giving me and things like that. Uh, you know, even when views aren't popping off, I, I do want to say I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching, and, you know, it means even more to me that, uh, you know, this is the core audience that sticks around, it's, uh, you know. Sometimes when you blow up, you, you get some people who just randomly show up. And I appreciate those people too. I appreciate anyone who will watch one of my videos. Um, but, you know, you really know who are your true fans when the views are low and people are still watching the videos. So I just want to say thank you guys for all your support, all your help on the channel. It really means a lot to me. And I hope you all are doing well in these times. Either way, I'll be back tomorrow with some more Star Wars goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.